Hello, this is skill 11.3. In this one, we're going to be finding surface area of cylinders. All right, so first thing we need to talk about before we talk about the actual surface area of cylinders is circles because cylinders obviously have a circular uh, base or circular bases. So on a circle, there is a diameter, which is the distance all the way across a circle. So I'm just going to say all the way across. And I don't think these are totally new to you. And then there's the radius. And the radius, I'm just going to draw it the other direction here so it doesn't get in the way of our diameter that's already there. Um, the diameter, or sorry, the radius is the distance from the center to the outside. or half of the diameter. So radius radius is equal to half of your diameter. Okay? Um, area of a circle. If you are finding the area of a circle, you are going to use the formula A equals pi r squared, where r is the radius. Okay? Pi, if you don't remember, pi is approximately 3.14. Now, I would prefer that you just use the pi button on your calculator so that you don't end up rounding, but if you have uh, an old-fashioned calculator that doesn't have the pi button on it, you could use 3.14. You just not, are not going to get um, as perfect of an answer. Okay. Now, perimeter of a circle, the distance all the way around a circle, we actually don't usually call it perimeter. We usually call it circumference. Okay, but they're the same thing. It's just the distance around a circle. Perimeter of a circle we typically call circumference. And to find circumference, we do 2 times pi times radius. Okay, circumference is 2 times pi times radius. Okay, so with all of that in mind, we are going to go ahead and find the surface area of a cylinder. So on this slide here, we have a cylinder. Okay, so this is our, our regular diagram of our solid, diagram of solid. And then this right here is our net. And I think the net is helpful in figuring out kind of where, where the surface area and where the formulas are coming from. So you can see that on the net and on the diagram, the orange parts are the bases. So we have two bases and they're circles. So we're going to do pi r squared twice. So our surface area um, has our base area, that's in orange, plus our lateral area. Well, the lateral area is a rectangle. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to say circles plus rectangle. Our lateral area is a rectangle every single time. If you think about like a soup can, what that looks like, and if you pulled the label off, the label of that soup can would be a rectangle. All right, so the base area is a circle, so it's going to be pi r squared. But then you're going to remember that there are two of them. There's two circles, so 2 times pi r squared. And then our lateral area, this is where it gets kind of interesting, our lateral area is a rectangle. So one of the dimensions is the height. That's pretty simple. But then what is the length of this long part? Okay, well remember that that rectangle had been wrapped around our circle, both on the top and on the bottom. So the length of that rectangle is actually the circumference of the circle. So this distance here is our 2 pi r. Okay, so when we're finding the lateral area, we're going to do height times 2 pi r, the height of our label um, times the circumference of the circle. Okay, so we can put all of this together, kind of make it, make it easy, put it all together. So when we're finding the surface area, we have those two circles. So we have 2 times pi r squared plus that rectangle, and that rectangle was height times 2 pi r. And we can just keep using that formula as we find surface area of cylinders. All right, so we're just going to go into one example here. So take a second to sketch that. And we're going to write down that surface area formula once again. So surface area equals 
2 times pi r squared, that's going to take care of our circles, plus height times 2 pi r. That's going to take care of our rectangle. Okay, so the things that we need for our formula is we, I mean, really, we just need the radius and the height, which we have. So that becomes really nice. Our radius is just 10 centimeters, and our height is this 12 centimeters right here. So what we can do is we can just plug all of that into our formula. So 2 times pi 10 squared plus our height, which is 12 times 2 pi times 10. I'll use parentheses. Times 10. Okay, and what you can do is you can just grab a calculator. Um, the Desmos calculator works nice. The one we have in the classroom works nice. And you can just punch that whole entire thing into your calculator. Um, I'm going to do it on Desmos right now and just show you how that works. All right, so I've opened up Desmos, and then I'm going to type it in exactly the way that it looks. I'm going to hit the keypad down here. There's a pi button right there. And then parentheses, 10 squared plus 12 times 2 pi 10. And we'll just round these to the nearest hundredth. So 1382.30. And just grab a screenshot of this. Put that in the notes. So when we're rounding, we're just going to look at those first two decimal places. Next number is a zero, so we'll keep it as a zero. And then surface area, remember, is always in square units. So centimeters squared is our final answer. All right, and as always, if you need any help with this, if these notes uh, were not enough for you to get a good understanding, just let me know, and I'm, I'm happy to come over and help you through this.